play with it and change it. Uh, there will be another lightning talk uh, later today uh, which will explain details about uh, open source uh, hardware. Um, I'm using, uh, f f you need four components to build a device. You need a, a development board, after that you need an LCD display and you need a micro SD card to boot uh, the, the software on the, the hardware and of course you need a power supply. So basically you can use an adapter or some kind of a battery. Uh, there are plenty of uh, development boards and most of these uh, open source hardware development boards rely on a, a processor manufactured by Owinner and uh, the other company which is also popular is Rockchip. My, uh, my device is uh, using an Owinner uh, Winner processor and a board from Olimex. Olimax is a Bulgarian company and I live in Bulgaria as well. So it was a nice coincidence that the headquarters of the Bulgarian company is nearby my home so I can go there, get dedicated support and get uh, the boards. It's much easier for, for me to work with them, they, they have great support. Uh, this is uh, the model that you see here is A10S Olexino Micro and I'm also able to boot Tizen on A20 Olexino Micro. Um, there is another company, a Chinese company, manufacturing open source hardware boards uh, called, uh, uh, the, the, their line of boards is called QB uh, Board because uh, the leading developer there is uh, called Tom QB Tom and his friends, they stand behind uh, their, their open source project. So you can free, you're free to buy uh, Olimax or QB uh, Board and you, you do what, what I do at home. So about the LCD display, uh, there are different sizes of displays. You should make sure that uh, your display is compatible with the board that you have. Um, it, it will be nice if the display is screen, of course. Um, I have um, a few tips to share. Uh, mistakes that I did while I was working on this project and I would like to share with, uh, with you uh, them and please make sure that you won't repeat my, my mistakes. First of all, um, buy a USB serial, ca serial cable. Um, this is a priceless uh, cable because with it you can debug and uh, inspect why the bootloader or the kernel is not booting uh, properly. Uh, it, it is also nice to use cables and power supplies that are recommended by the uh, manufacturer of the development board. This can save a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Another thing is that uh, these type of boards are using, uh, are booting uh, from a micro, micro SD card or NAND. My personal recommendation is not to buy a NAND, uh, NAND board if you're planning to, if you're planning to, um, to port a Linux, dist Linux distribution or Android distribution or Python on, on it because uh, it's much easier to work with a development board that boots only from micro SD card. Uh, by the way, if you're familiar with Raspberry Pi, like I was, I started with a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi boots from SD card. Please know that this, this kind of boards, uh, in most cases, boot from micro SD. Um, and one last tip. If some, something is not working for the first, the first time you run it, and this is actually happening quite a lot when you're working with software on this kind of boards, try to restart. I know it sounds silly, but sometimes it helps. So, now, please close your eyes and try to imagine iPod. You know, the bright and shiny iPod of Apple? Now I'm gonna sh show you something made at home. Prepare to see the homemade iPod killer. This is how it looks. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly, <laughs> it's not exactly a, a tablet. Um, actually, when my mother saw this, she said, oh my, would you like me to give you my tablet <laughs> for a while? <laughs> and I said, no, no, this is, this is something much better. So what you see here is, uh, um, a board uh, from Olimex, A10S Olexino Micro, uh, touched, uh, and a um, touch screen is attached on it. And this is a screenshot of uh, Tizen 2.0 working on the device. Um, it has a bunch of cables, 
basically an, an, an adapter, a USB, and a LAN cable. But actually, if you if you if you are good at crafting, maybe you can make some kind of a nice boxing for it and put it inside. By the way, this is a homemade the tablet device with open source hardware, which is capable of booting any Linux distribution as well as Android. So it's, it's not just a Tizen device, it's a multi-operating multi system device. Now, I would like to share with you my open source project. It's called Tizen Sungsi. The, the second word in it, Sungsi, came from the Linux Sungsi. Linux Sungsi is a, a GitHub open source project which uh, has a kernel which is uh, compatible with uh, all development boards who, uh, who have, uh, which have um, all winner uh, processors. So, there are three things that you should, um, should get working to have a Linux distribution uh, that is uh, running uh, fine on a, or at least booting fine on a development board. You need the bootloader first, uh, then you need a kernel, and since I'm using all winner uh, devices with all, all winner processors, I have to use uh, the Linux Sungsi kernel. And finally, the third component is the root file system of the distribution. And depending the the distribution that I choose, I put a different uh, file system. So basically, what I did was to take uh, the Linux the Linux Sungsi kernel and U-boot loader. To build, it, to build them from source, then to prepare a micro SD card. Luckily for me, there was a uh, project at the Tizen community which was porting Tizen IVI to Panda board. So I took uh, the, sor the source code available for Panda board and I created a Tizen platform image for Panda board and uh, mixed the Linux Sungsi with it. And finally, I, I got a micro SD card which was booting Tizen successfully on my device. The whole process of making this is, um, it's, it's not difficult, but it's time consuming because there are a lot of things that you have to do. Um, so if you have these kind of development boards and you just want to try out Python on it without, uh, without losing a lot of time, you can grab a pre-compiled Python Sungsi image, uh, save it on a SD card and uh, boot it on your device. Uh, a few words, I would like to share a few wor words about uh, Tizen pl platform images. So basically, the Tizen, uh, Tizen is capable of on running on Intel devices as well as ARM devices. There are, there are a few things that you should do. First, you have to install the Tizen development tools. And, um, and to set up the development environment. The, for this thing, you need a computer or a virtual machine running with a Linux distribution. The, the compatible and recommended Linux distribution by, the, uh, by Tizen are Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Fedora, as well as CentOS. The development tools that you're going to need are the Git build system and the, the MIC. Um, based with, uh, with them, you can create uh, RPM packages. And uh, finally, when you have the RPM packages, you can prepare the Tizen platform image. Uh, Tizen is uh, hosted uh, at tizen.org. It, it is using Git for source control system. And it also has a Garrett, which is uh, uh, used for uh, code reviews. So you can download the, co the source code freely. Um, after that, you, you have to build uh, these RPM packages for ARMv7. Uh, ARMv7. Uh, please note that uh, the, a lot of people are asking, uh, can you boot Tizen on a Raspberry Pi? The short answer is that yes, in general it should be possible, but the, the whole tool chain of Tizen is made for ARMv7 compatible processors, and Raspberry Pi is a bit older, so it's with ARMv6. You, you can boot it, but it, it won't work well, and uh, it will be much harder than uh, if you're using that kind of development boards that I've just shown you. Finally, you have to create uh, the platform image using MIC, and uh, to create a, a micro SD card with uh, four partitions, to put everything on the micro SD card, to plug it inside your development board, and to boot it. 
uh, depending on what kind of uh, display are you using, you have to configure whether it's using an LCD display, uh, like the tablet that I've showed you, or uh, HDMI output. The easiest way to do it is to adjust uh, one text file called UNV. There is a specific format of it, and it's really the, the easiest way to adjust this place. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please, we have three or four minutes left. Yes? We need the question for the video screen. The, if you want, I can repeat the question. Um, if I'm looking for some uh, LCD screen, a uh, uh, little LCD screen for Artisan. Um, I beg your pardon? LCD screen, you know? Is yeah, the, the screen that I'm using is uh, manufactured by Olimex. So I, okay. I just bought the screen from the manufacturer of the board because this was the easiest way to get it working on this specific board. Okay, so it's So before you buy a board, make sure that uh, uh, the vendor is recommending uh, a display, and it's uh, pre you should you should go for a display that is recommended. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Uh, 